this is a quick introduction to Boolean modeling. Boolean modeling is a way of defining a complex shape in, in Blender or any other modeling program using the other shapes for that definition. So for example here, if I, if I want to cut a monkey shaped hole out of this cube, I would line up the monkey with the cube where I wanted to cut the monkey shaped hole out. I'm, so I'm going to actually line up here. So we have a nice little monkey profile in, 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 in this. And now, because the cube is the shape that I want to affect, I'm going to select it. We'll zoom in a little bit more. And under the modifiers tab, the, the wrench right here, I'm going to add a modifier to the cube. I'm going to add a Boolean modifier. And how the monkey modifies the cube is, is based on which Boolean operation I choose, intersect, union, or difference. I'm going to select the monkey as my object here. And I could select any, any other object. It, it has to be overlapping with, with, with my first shape. And we see right now with the default operation intersect, something has happened to the cube. I'm going to hide the monkey for a second so we can see this. And what's happened is the space where the monkey and the cube overlap is now the, 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 the intersection of these two shapes. I have to find a new shape based on the cube and the monkey. If I use the union of these two shapes, I create a new shape that is a combination of the cube and the monkey. We actually still can't see the monkey. This is actually the cube unioned with the monkey. The monkey is uh, also in that space. And finally, if we go back to my, my original plan to create a monkey-shaped hole in this, if I use the difference, so the cube minus the monkey, I cut a monkey-shaped hole out of the cube. This is, of course, just a modifier. It's not a permanent change to, the, to this cube until I click the Apply button. And now I have a new mesh that is... It has a monkey-shaped hole built into it. You can, of course, layer Boolean operation upon Boolean operation, um, being aware that if you have shapes that don't overlap, the Boolean operations will have no effect. And if you have so-called non-manifold shapes, shapes where the skin is not one continuous hole and uh, for which the normal vectors are, are, not, are not consistent, you may run into interesting and exciting errors. Um, in fact, Suzanne, the monkey head, is such a shape. And we can see that if we look inside this cube carefully, we can see that the pupil of the monkey's eye did not get cut out because it is not contiguous with the main monkey shape. So be careful when doing Boolean modeling. You need to be sure that you, you are actually using so-called manifold shapes to get the most reliable, predictable results.